Hello everyone, it's Father's Day and we're about to go to the store to make dinner but I was thinking I still have time and uh, I found all my cruise books from all the deployments that I want so I'm thinking of making a video of each cruise books in my squadron during that deployment so I don't have to uh, find the cruise books again and go through it just to see my uh, co-workers, friends and everybody else and places that I've been so this is it this is my first cruise book, my first cruise on board USS Theodore Roosevelt the CVN 71 and there's my name I started as undesignated and it says Airman Gola J. Russell. And let's open it. Oh, hi. That's my uh, picture. I was a plane captain. Well, I started as a trainee and then a few months after, during deployment, I became a PC. And behind me is an F-14. I'm 21 years old right there. So young. 95 pounds yes I was skinny before a long time ago and uh, I remember I my co-workers had to put three chains on me put on my shoulder so during flight ups I don't fly away <laughs> I stay I stay in the, on the flight deck and then I was for the first few weeks I was holding uh, Eric Krauss uh, uh, belt belt loops so I don't fly away so that's my picture during that time that was 1996 and there's the first page of our cruise book and it says 96 97 Mediterranean deployment this is my only med uh, Mediterranean deployment. All the rest are Westpac. Uh, this is my first squadron and it was in Jacksonville. Actually, it's Cecil Field, NES Cecil Field. It would be uh, VS 22. And yeah, first, first time, first duty station is the East Coast, and that was the only time after that I went to uh, Westpac. A little history of TR. If anybody is interested, I can uh, focus and uh, I'll take a better video for you guys. But I'm sure there's a lot of uh, uh, cruise books somewhere. And just the facts. And it starts with. Everybody on board with me. This is our, ba our battle group. We are surrounded by all these uh, small boats. Oh yeah, where is the Leyte Gulf? Leyte Gulf, uh, sometime in our deployment, we went over it, like literally went over it. Something, uh, th I guess our radar malfunction the TR and we run over the Leyte Gulf. It damaged both uh, uh, ship. But I can't remember which part. Well, I know it's in the back and the front of something. But I have a patch that says uh, USS Theodore Roosevelt over USS Leyte Gulf. I need to find it somewhere. But. Yep, that's, that was one of the things that happened during my deployment. These are all the airplanes that was with us, and this is my squadron, the Checkmates. You can't really see the Checkmates right there. And F-14, I think we were like one of the last deployment that has F-14, I can't remember. And also, uh, my squadron, uh, before I got there, they were the first, uh, I think it was Ike, they were on board Ike, they were the first uh, 
squad and they had a female so i can i can't imagine how it was tough for the females and of course the guys having uh, females on board the first time and usually around the during cruise we do we do this thing so, and you know we dress up in our whites and do some kind of saying i can't remember what it was for but all my deployments we always do and and this one says good on ya we have uh, we have different uh, sayings yeah it's a beautiful sunset and this is our I guess it comes with our free deployment uh, workups during the free deployments these are the two months three months and uh, you know, it's pretty nice because we also get to go to the uh, islands, like for the like example of Saint Martin, and and we stop by Fort Lauderdale, Lord and Robert and Asia, Frankie wasn't born then, was able to uh, visit me or see me when we we pulled in over there in Florida. This is the Halifax. Uh, the first uh, port visits during the workups. This is in Canada. There's some Tiger Cruise pictures. Um, yeah, Comrels. Every time we pull into a port, we always uh we there's a lot of volunteering stuff so we volunteer to either clean somebody's uh like schools or playground we paint uh, we bring food snacks entertain the kids and you know all kinds of, of uh come real help just to help the country that's we're visiting St. Martin, my favorite place. Yep. Uh, when we came over here, um, we were told by the CO not to uh, go to the nude beach. And uh, of course, sailors are going to be sailors. And one of our guys, Neo, you know, decided to get drunk and go to the nude beach. And you know what happened after that. Water. So, uh, <laughs> so he had his liberty taken and he had to go back to the boat. It's pretty nice. It's a small island next to, uh, I think it was Dominican Republic or something, or St. George. I don't know, I can't remember now. But it's been a long time. But myself, uh, self, Crystal, and a few of the girls went out and just have fun. I know, yeah, during that time, uh, Mitluf and his family came to visit us. They're right there. And then he did a little concert to entertain us. It was pretty cool. And his, uh, his pretty kind and pretty girls. All the sailors were all over his daughters. Uh, staying fit, yep, there's uh, 24 hours and we work for 12 hours and the other 12 hours we can't really do much but eat sleep and work out and we always have like well now it's called zumba but uh, aerobics and exercise stuff in the hangar bay this is uh, fort lauderdale and like i mentioned earlier uh robert and asia when we pulled in they came and uh and visit me and uh, we went to one of the um, uh, restaurant and I ordered a, a big bowl of margarita. I mean, it was like huge bowl. Can't remember what the name of the place is now. Some uh, pictures from the flight deck. 
Oh yeah, we had a change to command the whole ship. So before our deployment, um, we had a change ship going. And the crew, 